Look here, got a brand new banana bloom. Look at that sucker. I don't think that's gonna work either. That's that conchus grass. Hi, Bunny girl. Bunny's about ready to bust. Bunny. So, Donald and I. Um, have a friend who is wanting to get rid of some of their goats. Now, they are from the same people that we've gotten Bonnie and Clyde from, but they are different mothers, different fathers. So, they're not closely related. And in doing so, we have to make another pen. That way we can have enough room for the boys and enough room for the girls so we decided we're going to go ahead and build a boy pen over in this area and we got to make a perimeter which this conchus grass is evasive here in florida and um yeah this is not gonna be fun at all and conchus grass is like saw grass, in a way. I'll show you here. Let me get a close up if I can manage the weeds here. Oh, something big over there. But as you can tell, this is the conchus grass, and it's actually. When we moved in here, this was all just regular, um, you know, just normal grass with weeds. The conchus grass has now made it all the way up to the front of our property. That's how bad it's gotten here. Oh, beauty berries! Hey, check it out! The purple things out in the distance. That's a beauty berry bush. But I don't think I'm going to go wading in the water. <laughs> I think what I'll do is while you're doing this, I'll run in. I'll grab a Tupperware and some gloves. So don't like cut them down. Let me harvest. We can leave the rest. Uh, it, it's a it's a natural um, insect repellent. The leaves are not the berries. I know, but I mean, oh, we can leave the leaves for the goats because we get enough mosquitoes back here. But these aren't ready yet. These aren't ripe yet. They're purple. No, not, they're just turning purple. They're just turning purple, okay. Yeah, goats. The goats will eat them, but we'll yeah. have to harvest them. I want to try it because it takes a lot of beauty berries to make any jam. Yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt, ain't it? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to do it. What about if we use the fire stick? We just got to make a perimeter, right? We could try. I mean, because that's what you did over here. Hello, Clyde boy. You're going to bend this. And I'm not touching you, you stinky boy. You stinky. Huh? You stinky. Yes, you stinky. You baby Clyde boy. All right, well, we'll figure this out. Got an orb weaver spider. Golden orb. Uh, she's got a grasshopper in her clutches. Wait. All right, so last night we had a storm. Uh, a couple of storms actually come through. <laughs> and these tree limbs are hanging too low. I'm afraid they're gonna fall too. I'm in the duck pen. But I wanted to show you guys this. So thankful we didn't have animals. This is the pen that we keep the pigs in when we have pigs. Evidence number one. Evidence number two. 
it is literally a bunch of tree branches but yeah that's part of the limb that was from that branch fell through and is now just poking out of the roof <laughs> oh well Oop, almost fell plus my flags i'm thinking one of my flags fell so i gotta get this out of the water um yeah so much fun living in florida <laughs> so just to show you guys it's the next day we ran into rain um donald was able to get a little path cut i'm gonna run it up to here and this barn was already it it has a lot of trash already it's not by us uh, it was what was left over we just haven't been able to get to it because uh we don't really come back here that often but now that we are we're gonna have to come up with a game plan and i'm just trying to get back here oh my goodness Ooh. It's all those vines holding it up. Wow. Oh. Oh. But yeah, over down over there where is the corner of our property but we got to go through like right back in here somewhere and i am just stepping on a bunch of stuff but we're going to are we going to run it in front of that tree then so we don't have to worry about going around that big tree Yeah, we might as well pull this uh, limb off the fence line then. But um, yeah, so we're gonna run it, run the fence just in front of this tree. And we'll pull that limb off of the fence line. And then the goats can eat away at this. You know what? I say um, we just use the doghouse since uh, we ain't going to be able to build a little, little shack for them until some of this is cleared up. Easy, honey. Go ahead and pull that limb off the fence line here. Here, have, let me have that. And be careful. Just lean it up against the fence line. You need a break after this? Okay. Oh, that's a big one. You haven't seen any poison ivy, have you? No. Okay. Ooh, that comes all the way out over here. Hold on, let me move. Ooh. You know what? Just scoot it off. We might have to get the chainsaw because the limb comes all the way out. This is the... I, yeah. <laughs> Good grief. That was a big limb. Oh, it came from up there. He man. Got 
got it. Oh! Holy cow, that almost hit me in the face on this. <laughs> Woo! All right, why don't we take a little break, okay, honey? Yeah, I gotta go wash Yeah, and I got oak ants falling on me. I hate those things. Right. Okay, so we were able to finally get it all staked and done. But Clyde's been in here um, since last night. There's the uh, the gate. He's got food, water, and a shelter. What we're going to do is we're going to wait for him to um, clear out an area so we can get his deck into here. Uh, but for right now, there's enough uh, vegetation on the ground. We're just using that for hay until he gets some stuff done. Hot cut boy. All right. Oh, you didn't finish everything, baby. Okay, let me get you all fed. So, on a weird note, we still had technically two birds in here. Something got to them. I don't know what. May have been a raccoon, but... Yeah, there's like no birds in here. I see feathers there. I, I'm crying out loud. I, I don't believe this. <laughs> okay. We are done with Bonnie's pen. So we took the took her pen, which only came up to here, and we stretched it out to meet all the way to Clyde's. Um, we have a back door for her as well, so that way um, if we want to let her out through there, if we can't get in here because it's flooded, but we also left this door here as well. Oh, i got to push this down a little bit. But um, what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until Clyde mows down some more of the, uh, the uh, grass and shrubbery over there. And then we will put his deck in his hat or in his pen, and then we're going to take this and move it down a little bit so that way Bonnie's got a nice running room, especially if she's going to have um, a baby, possibly two babies um, here pretty soon. You know, we want them to have a lot of room to wander around and play. And so, hello, Miss Cinnamon Queen. Yes. <laughs> so but that's it for the bunny pen we got the goats are happy Clyde's happy he's just eating away like you wouldn't believe <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>